Now it's on to race number 10. It's a class three over the 1,200 metres. Super Fortune headlines. The field has been run down at his first two starts back for a fourth and a second. Packing Treadmiller's first up. Satanta carries an extra four pounds for his resuming win. Private Rockets on the class drop. Ready to win has the hood coming off and Good Buddy comes up in grade following his last start victory. Lucky Quality steps up to the 1,200 metres. Super winner is coming across from Happy Valley last time. Millennium Falcon is first up and Science Patch has had two runs for Pierre Ung and has placed in both of them. But uh, to the well again for Super Fortune, Paul. He's been beaten four and a quarter in a length. He's going the right way, but just found one or two to run him down those first two runs back. The yeah, Oriental Smoke, you'll be pleased to see the back of him. So uh, he's in front and he should lead, I think, with the apprentice claim as well. A bundle of charm, he's second up. He should get a nice run just in behind. Uh, if not lead, if, if Super Fortune something goes wrong, Bundle of Charms an alternative leader. Uh, Super Winner is another one that we know likes to go forward. So does Good Buddy. So the pace should be good in this race. And you think the fact that Super Winner's won over 1,400 metres and uh, this is over 1,200 metres, Super Fortune will just have too much early pace. For I him. think so. And he's led over 1,000, hasn't he, down the street. So I think he's got that early pace. This is a very strong win from Good Buddy last time. Luke Ferraris partnered him that day and will be on board again on Sunday. Luke, good buddy. Uh, looked very impressive last time when winning. Uh, steps out again on Sunday afternoon. Up in grade, though. Uh, how uh, How's the horse been since then? Uh, he's come through his run well. His work at home has been good. Um, obviously, up in grades, it's going to be a bit tougher um, and his and his difficult draw. But uh, the, the horse is feeling good and, um, yeah. Just on that win last time, Luke, I mean, it was noticeable that he jumped quick and you, you got across from a wide draw. Um, he has won from, from coming from behind in the past. So is he versatile, do you feel, in some respects? Oh, I think he is. Um, you know, like you said, he's, he's won from, from going forward and, and from being given a chance. Um, obviously, we'll see what uh, David says uh, with regarding the draw. Um, but uh, he is a, a pretty versatile horse. He seemingly travelled very well. Is that a trait of this fellow? I mean, we haven't seen much of him. He's clearly not been the, the easiest to train, but visually he looked very good last time. He was. Um, it was nice because he wasn't, he wasn't overdoing it, which I think he, he can in his past uh, races that he has run. Um, so it's good to see that he, he's learning more about racing and, and how to race. And, uh, yeah, that just, um, it, uh, it's, it's, it's better for us, especially with the difficult draw. Do you think, given his lightly raced nature, that he, he has still got that little bit of improvement to come? Obviously, it's not an easy race. None of these sort of class threes on big days ever are. But do you feel he's still got a bit more to come? I think so. Um, I think his last run showed that, um, coming off a long break with the, with the top weight and, and a bad draw again, um, and still pulling off, off a win like that was, was impressive. And, uh, um, yeah, like I said, coming off a break and win like that, there's got to be room for improvement. It's a big win, 135 pounds is never easy, is it? No, never easy at all. And he's drawn wide again. This is a, a good field, this field. Just the draw put me off a bit with him. He's a winner of a three from 11, his good buddy. Super Fortune, you've always had plenty of time for him, Paul. And uh, Tony Cruz claimed with Angus Chung last time, and he does again here, so down to 125 pounds on his back. He's gotten beaten by a good horse here, Oriental Smoke. He's beaten him those last two starts. Now, he's third up, so he's got the fitness on these other horses, the four-year-olds. He's a five-year-old now as well. He gets a 10-pound claim once again. Look, his win was off 70. He's only rated 76, so with that 10-pound claim... He comes into the race really well, I think. I think he's a big chance now he's third up. Drawn out in barrier number nine is a super fortune in those green colours. Now, pretty ordinary conditions here. We pick things up at the 1,200. Bundle of Charm is in front, and super winner didn't lead over the 1,200 this day. Yes, it didn't really suit, I don't think, Bundle of Charm here. Look, he has failed... Well, he's been placed, minorly placed, second up in the past. But he's a four-year-old now. Alexi Bedell is drawn nicely in barrier number two. So he's definitely one of the, the main chances. I think Sintanto, on the other hand, he really didn't mind these conditions that came. And uh, he finished off strongly and, and did win the race. So, look, I am... Um, yeah, a bundle of charm. He's definitely one of the main chances. Definitely goes in. Super winner, he fought on nicely enough here as well. But I think this might be just a little bit too rich for him. A super winner had a rare start at Happy Valley last one. He's been there 11 times and three starts course and distance over the 1,200 for two placings for super winner. So he does race better at Sha Tin. Science Patch and also Fun and Glory, both well down in the weights. In fact, both are eligible for the top of class four. But Chris So with Fun and Glory and Pierre Ung with Science Patch going for the lower weight. Yeah, and so look... The 
definitely the conditions suit these two horses. Of the two, I put Fun and Glory in. Uh, I think he's going to come on probably more than Science Patch from this run. Uh, second up now for him, and he's drawn nicely in barrier number five. Now, Science Patch, he's drawn nicely in, in barrier one as well, so I think he's going he's gonna to run a bit of a race. But of, of the two, I've got uh, Fun and Glory in on a minor line. And that impressive when a sweet encounter does run earlier on the program too, if you want to see him again. Happy Valley Trials packing. Treadmill won three from his first five, so he's got plenty of ability. He's had the two trials, including this third behind the horse that everyone can't wait to see, Lightning Warrior. Yeah, exactly. He looks very smart. Good trial, I thought, from uh, packing Treadmill. Did what he had to do here in this trial. Uh, he's a horse going nicely um, at the moment, this horse, uh, and he goes fresh up. He's won fresh up in the past, so definitely positives for him. Good race. Yeah, really good race to finish. Look, I'm going to go with the horse that's had the three starts. This will be his third start this season, Super Fortune. Uh, packing Treadmill with a fresh up win uh, last season. Bundle of Charm, he's had the win. Uh, is, he, he, I mean, he, he has failed second up in the past. That's the only query with him, but he's going in the right direction. He's a four-year-old now in front of glory for fourth. Good race, 1, 2, 5 and 12. Same top three as Paul, just a different order. Five, two, one and eight. Bundle of charm packing treadmill super fortune. And through good buddy in to round out the uh, top four. He has won three from 11. That was a good win last time. So five, two, one and eight.